Holy cow, what happened there? I thought I started early. Went through about four tricks before I realized I'm not live. Somebody please tell me I'm live. <laughs> All right. Sorry that we're having a st late, late start to the show, folks. Apparently, I don't understand how Facebook Live works. Uh, I have to hit public for everybody to see it. I did that. We are live. We are here. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to give everybody a couple minutes to get in, be able to see everything. We want to welcome everybody to the show. Again, sorry for the technical difficulties. We'll give everybody a minute to be able to get in. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what happened there, but I appreciate Josh telling me I'm not live uh, when I was not live. All right, everybody pile into the room. What we're going to do, you guys missed it too. I had Striper playing. I was going to say they opened for me in the backyard because social distancing. But uh, we're going to give everybody a couple minutes to get in, and we will start the show very soon. I don't want anybody out there to miss anything because I'm an idiot. Uh, I'm also going to try to do this without my glasses, which is hard to do. Welcome, welcome, because you're stuck in your house and you got nothing better to do. I know I wouldn't get this audience in any other way, but I do appreciate you all being here. Uh, I appreciate you if you are staying home, because that's important right now. We're going to talk about a lot of important things today, but we're going to have a lot of fun. Uh, magic is something that is near and dear. If you do not know me, you've never met me before, wondering what the heck am I doing? Uh, my name is Jack Trades, aka Kevin Parker. Uh, I do a lot of wild things. I'm not a magician. I am somebody who actually practices the art of magic. What I mean by that is I don't get paid. Um, I do get paid when I teach kids magic, but uh, I get paid not only in money, but I get paid in a lot of satisfaction. I have a lot of fun doing that. Um, I'm making a big announcement here before we start the show. Uh, I did audition for America's Got Talent. I, um, because of everything up in the air right now, we don't know how that's going to go. Uh, no one knows that. Only a few, very few people know that I've done that. Um, I have a gimmick that I want to go there and be able to uh, show them one trick, and I want to go home. I don't want to win. I know I can't win the show, but uh, I want to be able to go on America's Got Talent. And I have auditioned for it. I have a great trick that I want to show them. Um, we're about to start the show. Again, I want to thank everybody for being here. Uh, we're going to go about a half an hour. And then when we're done here, I want everybody to go over to my son, Justin Parker's page, send in links, everybody, uh, and I want him to watch him because he's an amazing, talented uh, performer. Every time I watch him, I forget how awesome he is, and there's moments when I actually forget he's my son. Uh, he's a very talented kid. So we're about ready to start the show. A couple different things. Uh, one is I always donate uh, pro, uh, pro donate life. The show is about that. Now it's only about being shut in and having fun, but... Uh, Donate life and organ transplants are very important to people. They save lives. Uh, next month, April, I'm going to be doing some spe special magic-wise, a trick a day. We're going to be doing it to promote, promote Donate Life. Second is, happy birthday, Leah. Leah is four years old today. It's a very special day for her. It's a special day for us. I'm glad she's sharing it with us. Uh, Leah, I got a trick for you later on. Everybody, I can't see what you're saying. I'm not going to be able to see anything. But if you do like it, we can't applaud, but I do appreciate feedback. What we do in the magic community when I, and, and what we do online seminars is we put ones in the line. Okay, enough talk. Let's get on to some stuff here. It's time to start the show. All right. First of all, I want to start out with this box. I have this great box right here. And as you can see, there's nothing in the box. But magic boxes are awesome because you can store all sorts of crazy stuff in there. And you can see i got a lot of cool stuff in there. Again, the box is empty. This is where my big fish lives. By the way, we're selling, we're performing in front of a sold-out room. There is seven fish in the room, but this is the biggest one. Another good, another good thing this box is for is it holds my favorite little crystal teddy bear. Uh, again, it was empty. I'm going to show you. You've probably seen these before. They're a neat little invention, a uh, neat little thing. They're puzzles. I'm going to bring it a little bit closer so you can see it. You've probably seen them in Targets. It's nothing more than just a uh, plastic puzzle layered in different pieces of plastic. I think there's like a hundred and something pieces. And there's no battery, there's no light, there's nothing inside. But with a little bit of magic, we can do that. Alright, that's my crystal bear. 
I got a little shelf so I could throw stuff over there. One of the first tricks I ever learned was actually a card trick when I was a little kid. I'm going to do some card stuff later, but I found out later on that some of the coolest magic doesn't even have anything to do with cards. It's simple stuff. And it's, uh, here's one that's actually simple. This is the first trick I learned. I learned it off a of CD when CD-ROMs were four spin and AOL was the, was the rage, you know. But as you can see right here, I have this cloth right here. We're going to follow the cloth. You can still see it. Of course, it's yellow because that's my homage to Striper. But you can still see the cloth right there. This is where stuff gets weird because the cloth is gone. And then I can bring it right back whenever I feel like it. Again, we'll watch it. Pay attention. It's right there. I got all different ways to make it come back. But the simplest is just making it right back. Now, I took this trick and I adapted a little bit differently. And even though Scott Dixon says that uh, women don't like magic, I beg to differ because this trick always gets them. This is the trick where I take a string of pearls and I simply just put it in my hand. And with a, I turn it into a little poodle. Now, if somebody was here, I would give that poodle away. That's a fact. All right. My next trick that I learned off the same exact CD was something was everyday objects. And I started to like magic, all magic that was done with everyday objects. And as you can see, this is just plain everyday rope. This one's a little bit longer. And this one's really long. And what we're going to do is we're going to take, there's no gimmicks or anything like that. You see there's nothing in my hands. And we're going to take the ropes and simply fold them in half. and pull. And when we do that, we have three ropes that are exactly the same size. Well, maybe one's a little shorter and longer. The best part is, we can put it right back with magic because we can just take that little one right out of there. And then there's the middle one, and there's the big one. So now, I'm going to do it one more time. Usually you don't do the same trick twice, but this one I'm going to do again because I need two pieces of rope that are the same size. One, two, three. And what we're going to do is we're going to take these two pieces of rope and we're going to tie them together. You can see that knot right there. And then very easily we'll roll them up and make one solid piece of rope. All right. One of my favorite tricks to do for kids is this trick right here. It's the coloring book trick. Everything's cool about coloring books. All you need is some crayons. But I think everybody can see. I'm going to try to make it so everybody can see. Maybe I'll come a little closer. But you can see there's this coloring book. It's just an ordinary coloring book. But if we snap our fingers, we can color it in with magic. Now let's say you're pretty artistic and you want to draw your own pictures. We can make the book 100% blank pages. Look, this book is really cool, but check this out. And I just dropped the big book. Brown have mess mistakes, folks, but here's a little one, and yep, it actually works the same. I don't know if it'll translate, but you can see it right there. There's the color, and there's the blank pages. Alright. I would like to take a special, special moment to be able to talk to Everyone about staying inside and taking the things that are special to you. I want to show you a picture of my pride and joy. That never works. That never works. All right. The next trick is also one of the oldest tricks, I think, in extinction. Uh, in extinction? In existence. Uh, this is the cups and balls trick. And what it is, is very simple. It's one of the oldest tricks that's known to man because it was actually found on hieroglyphics. Um, in the Egyptian pyramids. So we know that it dates back that far. And it was basically a scam. Uh, what they would do is they would make the uh, mark, as they say, follow the ball. And I don't know if you guys can see it, but uh, I'm going to use a, a magic wand right here. Hmm. Might as well class it up a little bit. There we go. So I'm going to use this magic wand a little bit. I don't usually use them very much. Um, and I'm not used to something this big. I'm used to something this big. So insert joke there. Um, 
But you'll see I got three balls right here, and I have three cups. Every one of these cups is solid. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this ball, and we'll put these two balls over here, and we're going to just put it on top of that cup. We cover up the ball, we tap it, and if you notice, it comes right out the bottom. It's very simple. So now, we'll take this one, we'll do a double stack this time. We'll put it in there, we'll tap it, and we'll go to there, and then we'll tap it again, and then we'll come out the bottom. This time I'm going to do it really fast. We'll take this one, we'll just put it right there, and when I drop this cup, we'll take the third ball and drop it right to the bottom. This time we're going to use our imagination, and that's the best part about magic, we can do that. We still got three balls. Whoop! Just dropped one on the ball. Just dropped one on. The... All right, we got three balls. All right, so we're gonna take the three balls, and this time we're gonna use our imagination. I'm gonna reach into my pocket and pull out an imaginary ball. And this imaginary ball, we're gonna stick it right on the very top. And we're gonna take the imaginary ball, and make it go to the second one. And be third one, and right before it goes through, the imaginary ball becomes real and becomes four balls. Now I never knew what to do after that. Do we go to five? Do what do we do? Six? What do we? How many do we stop at? So what we do is we're going to take the four balls, cover them up, and then again use our imagination, tap that. Everybody think of five. Now it actually comes up to this big one right here. Alright. Now, I have a variation of that as well. And this is one for if you're at the bar. And people who drink, uh, this isn't for kids obviously, but this is for if you're at a bar and you don't have three cups and three balls. You can always use this. This is called the jigger. This is how they used to uh, measure alcohol back in the day. They would measure a shot, and this is a double right here. This is an olive. Of course, it's a fake olive, and the reason it's a fake olive is because if you carry around real ones in your pocket, they get real mushy and smelly after a while. But after, you can do some crazy things with this. So what we're going to do is we're just going to do some simple finishes. As you can see, I have that right there. I'm going to take it, and boom, it's gone. But see, it's right there. I can make that olive jump all different kinds of ways where it comes back right there. I can pop it in my mouth. Spit it right back there. I can do all sorts of wacky stuff. And a lot of people think, even if I put it in my pocket, they're thinking, well, you got two olives. And that's possible. There's one right there. But that wouldn't make sense of why there's a cork there and another one that just flew off into the floor. That's live. That's live TV, folks. That's what happens. But there was a cork there. I promise you there was. All right. Um, Leah, happy birthday, Leah. Everybody say happy birthday to Leah. She is four years old. She is pumped. We got a trip coming up for her. Uh, since I got all the sponge stuff, I wanted to show you something cool. Uh, sponge stuff is really fun. Um, here's one. It's, we're just going to take this ball right here, and I'm going to push the ball into my hand. And we'll see which hand is it actually in. Now, you would think it's in this hand, but that wouldn't explain the black ball right there. And you would think it's probably this hand, but it totally does not explain the square. Now that's crazy right there. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this black ball and we'll take a red ball and we're going to push it together. See? Boom. Just like that. And we'll do the same thing where we separate the hands. And you probably saw the little red right there peeking out, but I'll just show you it's this really, really, really big ball. And here... We've turned the black ball into many, many, many balls. All right. Are we having fun yet? I'm getting nervous about the big stuff. The, the little stuff is going okay, but I keep looking over here to see what my set list is to make sure I'm doing the right stuff. Uh, this next trick is a trick for Layla. Layla, happy birthday. If everybody, if I can't see the feedback, I can't see anything going on. I can see stuff, but I can't read it because I'm old and I'm blind. 
So, but if you like anything here and you don't want, you want to applaud, just put ones in there. Ones is how we're applauding. I want you to do the same thing for Justin later. Layla, this is your trick. Happy birthday to you. I'm hoping you're watching right now, but we got this little rabbit right here. I want to get a little bit closer. We got this rabbit right here, and I'm going to show you. It's a tiny little rabbit, and we're going to put him right here. And if I just rub him a little bit, I can make two rabbits. And if I do it again, I can just as easily make four rabbits. All right, I'm gonna try to do this as close as possible so everybody can see, but it's a little bunny. It's a big bunny, probably the mom. I don't know, I didn't ask much. But there's a trick for Layla, it's not done yet. I have this special bag that this rabbit goes in. It's a special place so he can go back to his special place. And I just put him in the bag like this. And I don't want anybody to think that he's in bad shape. The bunny likes living in there because he goes to his special home. I don't know where, though. But I can promise you he likes it because he sent us a message. Happy birthday, Leah. All right. Awesome. We're having fun. See what else I got here. We're going to do some car tricks now. I have a dollar bill. That makes no sense at all, obviously. But I'm going to do some car tricks now. Um, the first car trick I ever learned was so simple that I couldn't get over how simple it was. Um, and I started to learn all different phases of car tricks. Here's a weird thing. We're going to teach you a car trick today, actually. I'm going to teach you one in this process. We're going to teach you an easy one. All you need is some household items. Uh, but this first one, I always wanted to... Everybody always did a pick a car trick and use the whole deck. I got to the point where I wanted to see what you could do with which one card or two cards. And uh, it got kind of crazy after that. And I learned a lot of cool tricks. Um, this is definitely one of them. I call this two, two one card tricks. Uh, so just a regular card. And I have a regular dollar bill. The great stuff is you could borrow the dollar bill anytime you want it. But I'm going to try to get closer. And what we're going to do is I'm going to wrap this. And then if I shake it, I can get it to fall inside the dollar. And then watch this. You can show it. And you can show that it's fine. No holes in the dollar bill. Best part is, we can use the same dollar bill for this trick. Uh, Another one card trick, we're going to take one card, we're going to fold it. Now, after I get done doing this trick anywhere else, I would literally pass out the dollar bill and the cards afterwards so people could examine them. We can't do that here, obviously, but what I'm going to do is I wrapped up the, the card into the dollar bill, and if we push it through, you can see it turns completely face up. Easily, we just push it right back. It comes back. And, like I say, you can show it. So this time, what we'll do is we'll push it through. And we'll stop it about halfway. So it's half, car, half up and half down. And I can take it and rip it right in front of you. And set it down on the table. And show you that they stayed in that natural state. All right, this is the card trick two cards. I uh, elevated to two cards. This is a card trick. I'm going to show it to you first, and then I'll teach you how to do it. It's so simple. People uh, are mad sometimes when they figure out, when, it, when I find out how it's done. But as you can see, I have two cards. I have the queen and a red back card. I have the four and a blue back card. Now, if I take the four away and put it behind my back, I always ask, what did I take away? They say the four, right? And I say, I sure. And I say, no, could be the queen. All right, again, let's try it again. So I have the blue back card and the queen. I have the red back card and the four. I'm going to take the queen this time, all right? So I'll take the queen behind my back. And very easily, it's the four. All right, kids, this is all you need. You need a red back card, a blue back card, and two separate cards. And some double stick tape. Now, magicians aren't supposed to show you what their tricks are, but I don't care. So... This is a double back 
And it's very easy to do. All you do is you show them both sides and you take one away, turn it over and bring it back. It's that easy. It's that easy. This is the trick that I learned when I was five years old. Uh, this is, works with three cards. And what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm only going to take the three of, I'm going to take the aces. I have the four aces, but I'm going to take the ace of spades, the ace of diamonds, and the ace of clubs. And I would always ask the spectator to take the ace of diamonds away. And they would take this out, and they would see that it's the ace of hearts. And the ace of diamonds is right there. Again, five years old, super enamored, couldn't get over how easy it is. Going to teach you how I did it. All I did was cover up the heart to make it look like a diamond. Crazy. Crazy. All right, we're going to elevate to some new stuff. These are what we call packet tricks. Uh, packet tricks are where they come in maybe four or five different uh, cards only. Uh, this is one of my favorite ones. Of course, it's done with sevens. And as you can see, I have four of them. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, one by one, make a card flip over just by dealt dealing them out. All right? As you can see, that's the diamond. That's the spade. That's the heart. And obviously, that would be the club. Now, sometimes magic, you don't make any money. You know what I mean? So, you take credit cards. Boom. All right. I have another trick here. This trick took me a long time to uh, figure out how to do it. Um, but I needed something where I could use the, the jokers. Uh, nobody uses the jokers and tricks anymore. So this is going to be, I don't know if this will read. We're going to try to make, see what happens here. But I have joker. And what we're going to do is this is face up and this is face down. And we're going try to try to stay with me real quick because I'm going to do this so quick that we don't know how it's going to work. But here's one, two, three, four. So that was three up and, and one down. If I shake the cards, I can one, two, three, four. Now I got two up and two down. Now if I've got two up and two down, would you like to see the third one just flip over in front of your eyes? All right, I'm sorry, that's, that's all I got though. But I had two and two, so if I flip that one up and this one's still up, but if you notice with a wave of the cards, I got all four of them to flip over. Now that's cool, I don't wanna lose sight, I wanna be right here on the camera when you see that all of them are now aces. All right, I think I have to move the camera for the next trick um, because it has to be done at a table. So if everybody could just bear with me for a second. And let's do something here, I got the, this is a great case for my cards, I love this little case. You just, uh, just take a deck of cards like this and you uh, put them in there and then boom, they're gone. Yeah, great. I love that thing. All right, let's try this. We're going to try, oh, before we try that, we're going to try this. Um, I have this trick right here. I'm going to see if I can do it from here. Uh, as you can see, I got some cards here. Let's see what happens if I take this ace right here. Can I just swipe it a little bit? Oh, that, that card got a little bit smaller there. Isn't that crazy? Well, let's try this then. Can't get much smaller, can it? I, I guess again. All right, whoa, this is great. All right, let's see what happens here. Can we get smaller than this even? I guess, I guess we can. I mean, I got, that's got to be the smallest deck of cards I think I've ever seen. You know, let's, uh, let's see if I can get a little closer. See if you can see the smallest deck of cards I think I've ever seen in my life. But we've got to push boundaries. We've got to do things here. 
This is the smallest deck of cards. I'm going to drop them all over the place. But there they are, folks. The smallest deck of cards. The amazing shrinking card deck. I bought that trick on Amazon from someplace. I have no idea where, but it is an awesome, awesome trick. All right, we're going to try another one here. I'm going to bring you up to the table so we can do some coin magic as well. Um, I hope everybody's having a good time. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm running off of pure nerves. Uh, I appreciate you if you're here. I appreciate you staying inside. That's more important right now. We need to stay inside and stay together. So this isn't something I would ever do usually, but crazy times call for crazy measures. So I want to come out and have a lot of fun. Uh, and But I can't go out and have a lot of fun, so I'm going to be here with you and have as much fun as possible. After this, check out my son Justin's page. Links. Justin, make sure you're in there putting a link to your page in there. Uh, he's an amazing musician. Musician. Um, all right. So now we're going to try this. We're going to try Five the Wildwood. Let's see if I can get the camera a little bit closer. Can we see the table? I'm hoping that we can see the table. Okay. So we're going to try it like this. All right, so this is a trick I also learned in a first magic shop that I ever uh, went into was in Rome, New York. It's not there anymore, but it was one of the coolest magic stores uh, I ever went to. I bought him out when he sold out at the end. But this is a trick that a 12-year-old kid showed me how to do. It's called Five the Wild Way. Uh, we're going to pay attention to the fives. I got a whole bunch of them. We're going to put one right there. We're going to put one right here, one right there, and one right there. Now you see I got right here. Oh, hold on, guys. I got to plug you in. The production crew. Who's running this show? That would be awesome if we just, in the middle of filming, lost power to the phone and it just died. Everything else has gone wrong today. All right. Forget all that happened. We're plugged in. We're live. We're back. All right. So we got the fives on the table. I hope everybody can see them. And I have this one joker here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that five and we're just going to rub it. And the ink on bicycle cards sometimes is uh, not as good as people think it is. So... You see that change right from, from a five to a joker. We'll take this five right here, just put it there, turn it over real quick, and boom, you can see that turned as well. This time I'm gonna do a little bit faster, we'll pick up that five, but then, and there we go, we have five for five, or four for four. Five for five would be awesome, because if we had this one right here, and what I usually do is I would hand it to the spectator, you know, show them that I have those, and then I would have them show me their five. All right, we're gonna uh, graduate to, to some coin magic now. I have several items here. All right, I hope everybody can see this. I hope everybody can see. I got some quarters. I have a little teapot right here. It's a little teapot. I don't know if anybody can see it or not. This is a brand new trick. I just got it not too long ago, so I haven't really tried it at all. But you can see that it fits four quarters very nicely. And then you, you can put the lid on it. It's very cool. So you, I'm going to show you the, the quarters right now one last time. And then we take it off. And if I pour it right through my hand, you can see they poured right through my hand. All right. Now I have this apparatus right here. Actually, what I think it is, is a piece of garden hose. I'm not sure, but it's a very big brass piece. It's about a half an inch thick, and it's pretty hefty. And as you can see, it covers the whole circle right there. So when you close it, there's no way that something could pass through that, especially a quarter. And if you see, we're going to put all four quarters in there. Let's count them again. I'm going to make sure I have them. I like to put them face up. So Now, even with that piece of brass in the middle, if I shake it, I can get that quarter to drop right out. And show you there's three left. I can do it again. And it falls right through the bottom. Leaving two. I'll take that two, shake, and boom, right through the bottom. Leaving the one and last one there. 
And you can see right here, we're going to put it right in there. I hope you can see. We'll put it in there. And I'm just going to tap it. And there you go. You'll see all four of them went right through. All right. Now, I have this thing as well. Uh, I think I need this thing over here. Take the four quarters. And as you can see, I have this thing right here. It doesn't have any uh, special thing. It doesn't have tape on it, nothing like that. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take the quarters and just cover them up. And you'll see they've disappeared. Completely gone. That's why I don't have a bank around the house. All right, another uh, coin, coin trick. This one, I'm going to need other quarters here. But I've never done this trick before. I've had it for years. Um, I think it's a lot of fun. But I don't know if it translates well. But as you can see, I have this little apparatus right here. Simply holds three quarters. This is why we have extra change. Holds three quarters. And you can see that it fills up. holds. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this piece of paper. And the only reason I use a piece of paper is I want to prove that I'm actually puncturing through the paper. When I take it out, there will be actual holes in the paper. But you can see that I take a pencil and I push it through all three quarters. And I'll take these out. Uh-oh, uh-oh. What you'll see, there's the holes, there's the thing. Hold on, battery compartment needs to be turned on. Man, this is like a, an indie house show at a wrestling event. Let me press this. All right, holy cow, we're back, live. We didn't go anywhere, but we we're about to. It's at 10% left. All right, so that was the amazing coin penetration right there. As you can see, it definitely went through all three of those. All right. I have another type of coin penetration thing. Um, same type of thing. This is a half dollar. I'm sure everybody's seen one of these before. So what I'm going to do is just simply... <clears throat> Sometimes I don't know my own strength. All right, woo, woo, all right. So, next trick. We're gonna have to back up, I think, a couple seconds. Uh, absolutely, we're gonna go back up to where we were so we can, everybody can see. I hope everybody's enjoying themselves for this horrible production. I think this is good. I can't see, I wanna say this is good. It's hard to tell what is good. All right. All right, we're back. All right, we left off with, I put my finger through a half dollar. That was weird. All right, let's do this. I got this uh, everyday object stuff. I love everyday object stuff. I'm gonna come a little closer for this one. This is just a simple pen. You know, nothing special. I'm gonna try it because it blends in with the black. I'm gonna try to stay off so we can keep it on the background, but. All right, and if I do this and shake it just a little bit, you can see the tip is right there. Yep. But if I just push it through, it's right there. This is fun in the bar too because you can always, uh, you can always just bring it in with you and show. Okay, well I just put the tip. You can see I just put that on there. And then you could just push it through your hand. Maybe. I'm stabbing myself. And there it goes. And I just dropped the tip. <laughs> All right, this trick has gone horribly wrong. So let's end it. 
Let's end it right there. So can we see it? All right, so we're going to take it one last time and just go shake, 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 shake. And you know that it's gone. And there's a pen. And that was horrible. And I'm never going to do that trick again. I do appreciate you paying attention, though. Um, even though that was horrible, give it zeros. Don't give it zeros. That's horrible. Just be supportive. I just want to say it's almost time to finish up. Oh, I've gone over. We've gone over big time. Justin Parker's like going crazy over there. Uh, he probably doesn't care, but it's fine. Um, we're going to finish up and try to speed things along. I'm so sorry it would take so long, Justin. I'm just having fun and don't know what the hell I'm doing. This next trick, I'm going to come a lot closer to you. This is just a simple uh, nut and bolt. That's all it is. There's nothing, there, nothing special about it. Um, but if we use our telekinetic energy, we can make it come right off of there. All right. I love that trick. I bought that on Amazon.com. I'm not promoting Amazon.com, but they're awesome. All right, we're getting right to the end here. All right, I might need a little snack. Everybody loves, everybody loves an Oreo, right? Maybe later. Maybe later. I don't know. But you know what? What's cool about Oreos, though, if you just take it like this, you can could, you could kind of stretch them out. Yeah, yeah, make that last a little bit longer. Whew, all right. Every time I have that, though, I gotta have a little snack, a little drink. Let's do something here. Yeah. Yeah, it's in there now. It's in there now. Definitely in there now. All right, folks. We're almost to the end here. I know you're saying to yourself, thank God. Thank God is right. I'm going to show you another trick. Um, when I taught my students this trick, it was so much fun watching them develop different ways of it. But it's something that anybody can do. Um, it takes simple household items again. And what we're going to do is you can see that it's wrapped around the two top fingers. And if I just pull it, I can make a jump to the two bottom fingers. Now see, that, that seems kind of impressive. But what happens if you drop the rubber band on the floor? What happens if you take and bind the fingers with another rubber band? So there's no way they can get out and simply they can. And yes, you can bring it back. There we go. We will be selling that trick out in the lobby, folks. All right. Another trick I like to do with rubber bands, though, I take a couple of them. One, two. I take a few of them, different colors, shove them all in there. And... And then, and then, and hey, it, it's gonna stop. It, oh, ah, ah, there it is. It's it, it stopped. Beautiful. All right, guys, we're almost to the end here. Uh, the last thing we're gonna do is a trick that I developed on my own. Um, it involves a card and a poker chip and a lighter. Uh, kids, if any kids are watching right now, I do not want anybody playing with matches or lighters. I don't want anybody doing anything wrong that I'm doing. This is a disclaimer. If you're young and you're not an adult, do not play with fire. Do not take money like a quarter and bite it and then spit it back together. Don't do that. Your, your, your folks will get mad because you'll have dental bills and I can't afford to help you. All right, so we're going to see if I can do this one. I've never done this trick before. Um, this is a piece of paper, as you can see. What I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to light this piece of paper. I don't know if you can see it, but watch the flame on the lighter. All right. 
Now watch the flame on the lighter still. Oh, oh, it went out. All right, so now I got my car. This is my Rio poker chip. Randy, if you're watching, I know you like poker. This is my own poker chip right here. But it's amazing. It's got my name on it. Wouldn't it be cool if it had your name on the other side? Every one of you. You ready? It has your name on the other side. Your name. I told you. All right. But I want you to watch. Watch as I do this. As you can see, it is 100% printed on. It is definitely not coming off. But I can just as easily take it off. All right, I think that was almost my last trick. Give me one second, I'm gonna do a 10 second setup and I will give you the big, big finale. All right, I just wanna thank everybody for watching, if you were watching. I want to thank everybody if you've been staying home, supporting everybody, local art, art in the global, whatever, you know, support it. Um, it's been fun playing around the last couple days trying to put the act together and I'm miserably failing. Uh, it's really been fun trying to perform magic by myself in a room full of fish and it's really been fun uh, doing these tricks for you today. Uh, I want to say again, happy birthday, Leah, fourth birthday, uh, donate life, check them out. DonateLife.org, I think it is. I should have got better with that, but make sure you check it out. Um, uh, saving lives, people. Uh, organ donation saves lives. I know somebody personally who needs a liver, and I, we can save lives with it. Lucky Sevens, my favorite place in Syracuse. I want to put them over for a minute. It's my favorite place to eat because they feed me every Sunday, but they're an awesome, work, uh, awesome store because they're giving away free food, uh, free meatballs, and spaghetti dinners this week, and they're giving away free bread to those who need it. That's a community supporter right there. I appreciate them. All right, uh, I got one last trick. And it's a trick like if you're so bored out of your mind. Oh, no, I have two last tricks. Uh, I have one last trick here, here, let's try this one. This one was a, I, it was a card trick. Um, I forgot about this one almost. I had, that's why I have a set list. Okay, so. Give me one second, I need a quarter. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just take a quarter and if we can do this correctly, I'm going to need this bowl right here, this clip, and this piece of paper. Uh, this is a, a coin trick that I actually saw uh, do on Johnny Carson, except this was not added in. I'm going to put that right there. Uh, as you can see, I'm going to show everybody before we start, it is 100% empty. All right. So I'm going to put that right there. We're going to take this quarter. Usually I would hand this out, give it to somebody. They would be able to write whatever they want to write, dropping it everything today, but they would write whatever they want to write. I'm going to write D, that's a B, it's more like Donate Life, and I'm going to write a heart on this side for everybody in this crazy times, and then what we would do is I'm going to wrap this heart, uh, wrap this quarter up, I'll show you that it's this quarter. The reason I, we would mark the quarter or have, it, have you put whatever you want on it, so we know that you, I don't have two different quarters. All right, so then we'll wrap it up like this. And then what I want to do is I want to put it in this clip. I'm hoping you can see this bowl right here. We're going to put it in that clip right here. And then somewhere, somewhere I have a book of matches or a lighter. Here we go. Here we go. So I'm going to take a match. And we're going to light this up real quick where the quarter is. All right, well, the quarter's gone. You can see it didn't fall anywhere there. So is it in this box that I put there in the beginning? Oh, you can hear it. You can hear it. Well, no. It's not in the box. See, while I was shaking the box... I was diverting your attention because right over here, you see, is the matchbook. And I mean, do you think I was slick enough to be able to put it in the matchbook? Well, sort of. If you look real close, we're going to try to do this as tight as possible. Doug Henning, this is for you, buddy. We're going to rip into...
and see that the quarter is actually inside. All right, guys. This is my very last trick. I just want to say, everybody, stay inside. Stay safe. Stay together, you know. Listen to music. Do cool stuff, you know. Whatever you do, don't let this stuff get you. Don't go stir crazy. Uh, if you're able to work from home, enjoy it while you can. It's going to be able to, very soon. Hopefully, we can get back together again. If you get bored, you can just do what I do. You know, you can play with cards. You can practice magic. You can build card houses, you know. And that's what I wanted to do today. I wanted to build one for you right here. Thanks for watching.